Today, today we are announcing GraphDB 10.8, which may sound as a minor version, but actually brings a new, uh, a major new improvement without breaking compatibility with everything else. That's the way we do versioning. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, uh, uh, it, talk, talk to your graph that is uh, essentially provided uh, out of GraphDB uh, Workbench. It's a chatbot tool codenamed Quadro, which uh, yeah, uses now a, a very yeah, aut autonomous and intelligent agent infrastructure to deliver yeah, multi, multi, multi method uh, graph hack and at the end of the day, give you context-rich conversations. Very, very important. Reduce the non-determinism that that is so typical when you use uh, AOMs and add explainability. Click. Uh, so the the basic is that yeah, uh, the first point to start with, uh, although it's taken for granted, uh, the most important thing that uh, GraphRag does and this uh, implementation also do is to give you much better precision and explainability by yeah, using uh, uh, yeah, a trustable enterprise data and, and domain knowledge. Uh, and uh, the, the, the real value of uh, this kind of, uh, of, of quadro in this case is to really implementation of the promise for self-servicing data so that you can access data and knowledge without the need of going to a data scientist or data engineer and asking someone to to prepare uh, a report it is uh, yeah, uh, real real you can get real time in, uh, insights by just talking to the agent and explaining can i have these data slightly this way or that way uh, and this way refining what you get really live and this is possible because of having this multi-model uh multi, multi method uh, uh, framework which which combines Sparkle uh, when you have to, to to access structure data in the database with graph embedding based vector similarity that is uh, good for some more open-ended tasks and as a backup to everything else full text search capability so we have a framework that can combine all this click uh, the the uh, another important thing when when we when we paid special attention when we developed uh, uh, Quadro was to really accelerate the, the 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 cycles that you have to do when you want when you uh, develop a, a chatbot when you develop one of these agents and you have to ask for refinements on the different methods why you queried it this way or that way please exclude this or include that uh, uh, so the cycle of doing this with uh, uh, Quadro are now much 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 uh, shorter so it's literally the, the sparkle query that is generated is one quick away, click away if you are a more technical user you can easily see what's wrong in there and eventually provide an extra instruction to the model the same thing is available quadro is also available for your custom application so it's not only the GraphDB uh, interface that that i'll demonstrate now you can only use it embedded as a chatbot experience within your own uh, applications and now yeah let me uh, or the applications that you build for your for your customers. Uh, uh, we we have a problem that illustrates uh, how how uh, uh, GraphRack Type Three helps, uh, and we call it the NASA problem. NASA is a great agency; it doesn't have problem, but it helps us illustrate uh, something. So we start off with an on, the on text knowledge graph, which is a, a collection of about uh, 100 marketing documents uh, developed prior to graphwise that's why i want to text uh, uh, but these are these are yeah, essentially all the documents from our website and the task is uh yeah we want to ask the question about u.s government customers of want to text and get nasa as an answer uh and that's that's hard there, there are several challenges uh, one challenge is that uh, uh, it turns out that in all the document uh, document chunks which mention uh, nasa in this document set there is no government next to it. So uh, uh, a vanilla chunky rock will never pick up these chunks because there is no government in them. They are not relevant. And, and you miss it all together. Then even if you go to GraphRack type one and two with more metadata and, and some, some extensions, you hit another problem of uh, yeah the, the, these uh, uh, GraphRack implementations. That is, there are too many chunks which talk about uh, 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 
government agencies in US in this document set. And you have to choose only the first 10 or the first 20. And out of a sudden, NASA is not there. So you never get a consistent list. This is what we what we call the chunky rack uh, uh, axiom. Uh, uh, if, if, if answering a question requires more than uh, 10 chunks, uh, the, 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 the answer you get will always always be incomplete. And this is what uh, 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 Graphic Type 3 sorts, sorts out when you can push such questions with, which require deeper information and aggregation to a database. The data underneath this example uh, is yeah, it's the uh, on site Knowledge Graph uh, Hub with the documents. They do have, they, they are enriched using Metadata Studio with uh, schema.org metadata. Uh, we loaded this next to an instance of Wikidata Truty. That's a <laughs> very massive, 8 billion, 8 billion statements. Uh, uh, and we also materialized the semantics. So we did some inference uh, that is necessary for yeah, the natural nature language queries to, to work well. Finally, we used uh, uh, one of our entity linking models to generate, to, to do the entity linking, to, to generate uh, statements which say, this document mentions this entity with high accuracy. Now, with that, we get to, to a repository with uh, some 12 billion, uh, 12 billion statements. Uh, and now let me uh, walk you through yeah, the quick story of how you set up your agent. Click. Uh, <clears throat> so you, you, you go, uh, you click create agent and it asks you, okay, uh, uh, what, what, what name you want to get for this agent? And now tell me which of these methods you use. And in, in this case, I only specified uh, Sparkle. And when you specify Sparkle, it asks you, okay, what ontology should you use so that I, I, I know how to generate queries? And I say, yeah, I want to use Wikidata. We have some shortcuts for some of the most popular ontologies. Next. Uh, then you can, when creating the agent, you can choose the LLM model to use the temperature and some other parameters. And you can provide the additional parameters like, well, please, when you're answering this, don't use your general knowledge because I want to get questions answered only on the, on the basis of the proprietary knowledge. Uh, and then don't use Wikidata functions and other technical things, how, how you can get labels about entities and, and how are documents and entities uh, related. Now, let's uh, show you a little bit of, uh, yeah, this talk to your graph experience. So if you go with the question, give, give me a list of your government organizations. Uh, it generates a query, which obviously, obviously the first one doesn't work. And it says, oh, there, there is an issue, I gotta fix it. And it keeps working and trying. Instead of you trying to generate the Sparkle query that works, Quadro is working for you, and, and, and it gets something. Uh, uh, next, uh, we, we see the results, uh, click. Uh, and and uh, we figure out that in this list, uh, we had quite a number of also administrative regions, like the uh, uh, Los Angeles uh, <clears throat> administration appears as a government organization and all these things. Oh, no, no, actually we don't need that. So uh, I refine the question. I say, give me, give me a list of distinct government organizations, uh, excluding administrative regions. And it generates this list quite uh, yeah, directly, click. Then you can ask, show me how you did that. So how, how did you achieve this? And it literally yeah, opens the yeah, Sparkle query that it used to, to, to go to uh, Wikidata and to fetch uh, government organizations which uh, have country USA and so on and so forth and how it filters out and all the stuff. So this all happened without me writing a single line of Sparkle and it works and brings results instantly. Next. Uh, now I, I get more ambitious and say, well, now let's see I'm trying to go step by step instead of just asking the final question. Uh, I get more ambitious to say, give me the list of documents that mention government organizations. And it gives me the list. And next, we can see what query it used for it, uh, for this purpose. And you see at the end of the day, the query is nothing <laughs> massive. It's, it it, it end, ends up being, being quite a compact one, which, which does the job. And uh, click the next and the final step is I say, well, now please look at these documents and tell me, do we have, do we have information about government customers of on He said, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, on, on this basis, I was able to uh, pick up FDA and NASA. So 
finally, yeah, NASA history works. We can, I can sleep well because my NASA problem got solved with uh, Quadrum. 